You're amazing. Thank you, everybody. I'm going to get through this very, very quickly. What I would like to produce or, or to share with you today is what we call Corkity Pilot. We introduced this um, particular pilot or, or took this pilot for students in particular who were redoing papers. Um, what we did was we thought about what is how do we begin? We had um, conversations with different people over the years, the last couple of years, um, especially with our tuakana, with our tutors and our students. And we said to them, what are the difficulties you've, you've been experiencing in trying to be able to um, achieve your goals? And if you're redoing papers, what are the things, the barriers that you're confronted with? Our students shared that uh, one of the difficulties that they were experiencing was um, whakama. In te ao Māori, in te reo Māori, whakama means to be embarrassed. It also means to be shy, but in this context, it means to be embarrassed. So our students who were resitting papers were embarrassed. Our tuakana told us stories of uh, students redoing papers, entering into their space. Uh, tuakana, like our peer tutors, they go along and they sit in with the students, but they sit separate and they don't engage with the students. And they wondered, they came to us and said, how do we engage them? And our tutors were saying things like, um, unfortunately, we're not getting the results. They're not turning up to class. Uh, they're not participating, engaging. We're just at a loss as to what to do. So that's how we began the idea of kōkiri. The word kōkiri, by the way, is follows a particular action. Kōkiri in te ao Māori means to row forward, or in, in our case, the canoe is to go forward in action, is to row like this. Is, the, is that the correct word? Go forward like this. It is a deliberate metaphor for how we see students um, building their own resilience where there are choppy waters on their journey in academic learning. And so what we did was we built um, with tutors, we went along and we learned, helped design workshops with our students as co-designers. Um, we created spaces for them. And we, we also listened to what they said, which was if we were going to work with our students redoing papers, uh, they actually wanted the sports to come from their tutors first. They wanted it to come from their tuakana or their peer tutors. And we, the academic learner advisors, were supplementary to that. They also wanted to have flexible time in how they did um, where their supports were met. So we said, yes, we can help you with that. We'll design. Um, as according to your your hopes and induction specifically for you, we'll put out a need survey so that we know what are the things that you're having difficulty with. We'll help you to refocus, to remotivate. Uh, we'll help to design um, own your own groups um, according to what you need. We'll be flexible with with how we go along and do that, whether that's in the morning, in the afternoon, or even in the evening. We'll look at the ways that we engage with you. For example, is it wānanga, which um, is like a writing retreat, really, for, for those of you who don't know, uh, we'll, or workshop, or whether it's by Zoom. And we'll be thoughtful about the support mechanisms around you. We'll also monitor your journey. But we did demand from them also some of um, responsibility for their own journey. And so we, we did go along and say from the school, um, we, we need a dedicated tutor champion. We need you to commit to this. And we also need the students to come through and participate. So um, our online supports as learning advisors, we actually took a lead role in that. So we co-facilitated induction. We brought in the workshops and the key people. We created flexible spaces and time. 
we held ownership of the spreadsheet of information that we gathered and re we reported back to the school and to the significant people. Um, this is just one result from one of the schools and the other schools did just as favorably, but I just wanted to highlight this school in particular because it seems to be a known school for difficulty, Bachelor of Nursing where we have high numbers of Māori students. Those students who participated, we had a 100% successful pass. Uh, the students were able to go to the next level of their study. We got favourable um, feedback from the tutors, as well as them asking for it to be to go ahead in the next year. And the students were the same. We got positive feedback. There's still some barriers. You'll know this. Times have changed. Uh, major major difficulties that we're experiencing is um, Hawkeye was a pilot it is not business as usual and with the with the way that COVID has impacted on us um, most of the schools have had to return to a back to uh, business as usual approach um, there's been reduction in staff there's been cuts to budget and so on so we've got ideas for what we might do in the future. We're going to offer a Pomodoro, which is a writing style online, writing retreat style online. Um, very similar to Andrea Haynes and Miriam's um, Padlet's approach. I love that idea. Um, topic tutorials, tutorials online and also face-to-face -face opportunities. I'm sorry, I have no idea what the time is. Let me look. I'm going to end it right there.